Today we're going to be looking at the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, all of its features and why it's a must for us photographers, film editors or anyone who sits at a computer screen for hours on end. Welcome to the future of desktop lighting. Here's how. Play tape. If you strike me down. So if like me you've gone down the rabbit hole during the editing process of photography or making YouTube videos and emerged eight hours later with a blinding headache, double vision from staring at a screen too long, then maybe one of these can help. I'm just going to take it off here. The nice people at BenQ sent me their screen bar plus to try out, give a review and I'm sorry to say I'm not going to send it back. Sorry BenQ. Now, I've been using the BenQ photography monitor for a few years now and it is spectacular. It's 10 bit, 99% Adobe RGB color accurate and it's got the BenQ Eye Care which automatically adjusts the brightness and color temperature depending on the ambient light in the room. But even so, if the ambient light around your monitor or in your room is poor quality, then your eyes can still take a beating. Step in BenQ Screen Bar Plus, which is a flicker free LED light panel which attaches onto the top of your monitor. And not just BenQ monitors, any monitor using this patented clip design, which is spring loaded and it's got a weight in the back. Now, I was a bit skeptical about attaching a light directly onto my monitor because of the obvious problem of screen glare. Working with high res images in Photoshop or videos in DaVinci Resolve, you want absolutely no reflections or glare on your monitor interfering with your work or playing havoc with your eyes. And much to my surprise, this light has zero screen glare. As I've said, it's completely flicker free, unlike those horrible strip lights you find in office blocks. And it also has no blue light hazard, which can potentially cause retinal damage. Another plus there. It has an automatic dimming feature as well, using the light sensor on top of the controller here. It reads the ambient light in the room and it adjusts the light accordingly. And of course, you can manually adjust the brightness and the color temperature between 2700 Kelvin and 6500 Kelvin. Who's Kelvin? And the best part, USB powered. Ah, oh, no bulky cables, extension cables. Right, so let's take a look at the build quality and the aesthetics of this light. Uh, it's a brushed aluminium construction, feels quite robust and it's fairly lightweight. Inside here we've got 90 individual LEDs and in front of that is a glass panel. And on the back here we've got the USB port which powers the thing. So BenQ have rated this light for about 50,000 hours of use which works out to about six years of continuous use and 12 years if you actually go to sleep at night. By then you'll probably have robots doing your editing for you so you'll have no use for this. Let's move on to the clip itself. Um, this is a patented design. Um, it's got this spring loaded action it's got quite a lot of weight in the back here it's a plastic construction but feels fairly well built on the back here we've got these uh, rubber pads to stop it slipping around on the monitor and the clip itself is fairly easy to get the light in you just twist it like that and it clips in uh, so no need to slide it in from the end here the cable splits into two ends here one goes into the light and the other goes into your power source and finally onto the controller itself. Um, this is beautifully made. It's got this aluminium brush construction just like the light and on the front here we've got the main button which switches it on and off and it's got the dial which controls the brightness and the temperature. Up here we've got the light sensor which reads the ambient light in the room controlled by the auto dimming button here which illuminates green and also flashes the light to let you know that it's on. And over here we've got the manual button which switches between these two icons uh, down here and that lets you know if you're in the brightness mode or in the temperature mode. But this wheel, ooh, 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 ooh. it's also got this nice rubber base to protect your work surface and stop it slipping around. Good little paperweight too. So all in all, this is a really neat little package and it frees up some space on your workbench too. Can we chuck this? So just as a sidebar, BenQ haven't paid me to review this product and they have asked for an honest review. So I just thought I'd put that out there. The light throws out about a thousand lux at 45 centimeters above the desktop. So what does that mean in real world terms? Well, it's roughly equivalent to a standard energy bulb in a table lamp. So it's more than capable of illuminating your desktop. So would I buy one? 
Well, they cost around £120, which is on the steep side, but it's a great product, it's well built, and as I've said before, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. It's also rated to last three times as long as a standard LED bulb. So yes, I would buy this. I've also found another cool use for this light, which in my world of photography, it makes a great catch light. Or accent light. So there you have it, the future of desktop lighting, quite possibly. So listen, thanks guys for supporting my channel this year. It's been amazing fun making these videos and growing my channel, so thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and uh, let's catch up next year. <laughs> what? Peace.